started getting just like downloads of information and things being shown to me in a different light. I felt like energy moving in my body, just clearing. I could feel it leaving my body. My consciousness just expanded and I'm in the higher realms right now. This is not gonna be good. I was like, what the hell did I just do to myself? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new, my name is Andrea Johnson, Reiki master teacher, energy worker, psychic worker, spiritual lifestyle content maker. I am on another level today, if you cannot tell, because I had a spiritual, a little mini spiritual awakening, if you wanna call it, a spiritual experience. But if you're reading the title of this video, then you know I have embarked on what we call Cambo. Holy crap. What is this lighting? Can we just like... I wanted to make today's vlog and document my experience with Cambo. Now, I'm not an expert on Cambo, guys, so I'm not even gonna try and pretend like I know what I'm talking about. But Cambo is basically like the mucus from this tree frog, I think is what it is. And pretty much what happens is um, you make burn points on your skin and you put this mucus on these burn points and it's a poison pretty much and it gets absorbed into the skin and you pretty much go through a spiritual awakening. Basically this poison purges energetic blocks in your system, it purges your toxins in your body, it purges the thoughts in your head, you pretty much come out, I wanna say, clean. <laughs> so it is a intense form of detox for your energy body and for your physical body. I need to just make sure I talk to the teacher and, or the teacher or the practitioner and, you know, so I physically went and I spoke to her and made sure I had a great connection with her. She's actually the Kundalini teacher um, for Kundalini yoga that I go to. I trusted her full, like heartedly. She trusted me and the information that I was telling her that I was a good candidate for it. So all of this was very much, it was thought out. Um, I just didn't go into it blindly. I did my research. I spoke to people. I made sure that, you know, she knew everything about me and what was going on with me and my intentions and all that stuff like that. So she felt good about it. I felt good about it. We were good to go. And I think that's a huge thing with this too. If you don't feel good about it, like don't embark on it. But I knew deep down, like it was going to help me. And that's what pushed me through because fear did pop up guys. Like I was scared, especially like today when I went there. I am about to be on my way to my Cambo experience and I'm just gonna say I am terrified. <laughs> I feel so different right now. It's just weird right now. Everything leading up to this point has been freaking insane. I feel different, I'm thinking different. My body feels different, my thoughts. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I was freaked out. I was just like, maybe I'm not, like what if I die? Like this is poison going into my body. What if I die? What if I have an adverse reaction? Because there is that chance that something can go wrong. Um, and let me make this disclaimer guys, like if you do any kind of like work like this that involves like poison or I don't know what you want to call it, like it's not psychedelics or anything like that, but like if you do heavy inner work, spiritual work that involves something like this, please like do it with a professional like I did or check in with yourself or make sure that you're healthy to do these things because there is that chance that something is wrong and you internally will know if this is right for you or not. But I was waffling on that fear. It was the ego obviously playing tricks because it was scared it was gonna die, that I was gonna die, which essentially a part of me did. After I made sure that I felt really good about it, we, the days um, leading up to the ceremony, I was setting heavy intentions. I can use this to manifest and use this to clear blocks in my life. So I set intentions in motion to manifest certain things of abundance in my life and help me with certain problems in the physical world, like human problems, like stuff with work, with house, with things like that. And also clarity in my life and direction that I wanna take in my life. I set these intentions and 
if you ever do any kind of energy work or like even fasting, set intentions to get clarity out of it, to get something out of it because God, the universe, whatever, will respond heavily to when you humble yourself, to when you sacrifice something, when you do something hard, in the physical and putting power behind the intention that is so powerful for manifestation i made sure that if i was going to humble myself like this which was huge i was going to get something out of it and i did the days leading up to it i told myself certain things i'm going to respect my body in the most and the highest way that i can which was nourishing it with really really good foods i told myself that every day that i had to drink a lot of water i was cutting out um most artificial stuff i still did artificial sweeteners like stevia but i quit drinking diet coke i quit taking it like eating candy during the day um i made changes like that and stuck to mostly whole foods i also made green smoothies every day and i packed those damn things full of as much like spinach spring mix kale everything you could think of and berries things that had so much nutrients because I wanted my body to be able to handle what I was about to put it through. I was setting the intention that I was caring for my body. I was setting, holding the intention of what I wanted to get out of the session all the way up until the day of. And I even like, <laughs> you can see like the night of, I journaled and I did um, a chakra reading for on my, my uh, chakra cards for tarot. So um, basically, uh, I, it was going to purge my solar plexus quite a bit. It was going to purge my root chakra quite a bit. And I knew these things too before I even pulled it. I'm like, it's going to clear my root. 100% cleared my root. Um, and it's going to help me with my solar plexus. Then I'm going to have another spiritual awakening from this. Those are the exact cards that I got. And I could not have picked more perfect cards. I wish I would have said this before I did the poll. Leading up to the day of... Because I had chosen that I was gonna do this, my reality started shifting to help prepare me for this ceremony. So because everything is happening right here, right now. Like, everything is happening all at one time, past, present, and future in here, right? So because I had made this decision, my reality already, it had already like happened pretty much. So my energy was shifting to that of which I had already done it and was receiving healing from it. So things in my life started looking different, like weird crap was happening, guys. I was having weird shifts in my life, knowings. The relationship I was having with myself was changing. I started breaking away from old like habits and thought patterns really easily. Like I, I things that I was struggling with for a long time and have previously just been working through with energy work that I could clear, but it would be easily come back up when I was triggered. Things were no longer triggering me that used to. And I was like, holy shit. This is like, I have to do this. Like I've started piecing the puzzle together when I started noticing that thing, my thought process was changing and things that used to trigger me were not triggering me anymore. I'm like, this is because I'm gonna do this thing. And I knew once I actually like fully went through it, it was gonna take it like my experience already of what like I was manifesting in my life to the next level. So I'm like, I just have to push it. And that like motivated me even more to push past the fear because there was a lot of fear, <laughs> let me tell you. That was what was happening the days leading up and I was meditating, I was setting intentions. Like I was gonna get everything possible that I could out of this session pretty much fast forward to the actual ceremony um i did it with like three other ladies or two other ladies so it was three of us and then we had the person doing the cambo ceremony she was amazing i will actually put her information if she allows me to do so but she was just a savior because she made me feel so comfortable. She was like there the entire time monitoring us and any kind of question I have, even when I had the medicine on, um, I was like, is this normal? Is this normal? She's like, yes, it's normal. It's normal. I will tell you when things don't get normal and we will take it off. And I'm like, okay. So she was calming my anxiety because I told her, I'm like, I'm a hypochondriac. I, I'm a Virgo because 
I very much pride my health and fitness and if I think something's wrong with me, if I feel that something is like off, I will Google diagnose myself and freak myself out and probably manifest something wrong with me. <laughs> so um, I was very freaked out to do this. And the fact that I did this really says a lot. What happens is she picks three points and women usually do it like on the, their ankle, like on the inside of their ankle, you can do it on the left or the right side. I chose the right side because it's the masculine side and that's more of the energy I was wanting to bring in. Um, so I did that. And I just did three points just for starting out. Um, usually, like I think you can go up to 11. I don't know really how much you can go up to, but they say your first time start with the low dose because I think you build an immunity to this. And guys, like you can take the medicine off at any time. Like as soon as you take it off, the effects go away. So I knew that I was safe. Like if something went wrong, it's not like I couldn't like back out of it. You know what I mean? We opened circle and we said a prayer. We had, um, you know, sage. We were listening to mantras. Like the space was properly taken care of. It was ready to go. I felt very safe. The energy was so good in there. And that is so important when you do any kind of energy work, any kind of, um, I say even psychedelics, even though this wasn't a psychedelic, but any kind of really big inner work that you do, make sure you set your space. It makes a difference. To start with, uh, before we did even the test points, you have to drink water, like a liter and a half of water in like 15 minutes because your system, there's nothing in there. Like you've already dry fasted for like 12 hours or 10, 12 hours. And so literally there's nothing to throw up or purge. Um, in your system unless you like purged the other with the downward purge um, So I had to drink a liter and a half of water in 15 minutes and then put the medicine on directly after that To see if I could purge it up. So I drank the water. We put the medicine on I passed the test block Just fine. So I really didn't feel much from just like the one test so she put the other two drops on and it took a little bit it took a little bit for it to kick in but when it did holy crap i questioned what the f did i just do that was when a piece of me died the worst part is the first like i would say five minutes uh, i don't even think the really the worst worst part lasted five minutes but it got intense um, for probably about like 20 seconds. I was rocking back and forth. Like guys, I had it all going on. I was like, there was so much energy running through my body. When I first started off, I started actually feeling like the flushed feeling. So if when you feel like you're about to pass out, that happened. Um, I started getting pressure in my ears. My ears started ringing, like sound actually started to go away. And I was like, holy shit, am I gonna pass out? And then my blood started to rush everywhere. I could feel it just rushing. My heart started to like palpate and, I'm, and I started getting hot, like the sweats. And I'm like, this is not gonna be good. I was like, what the hell did I just do to myself? And then I, after those things started happening, then I started getting the urge to, my body started doing this circle thing. Guys, I had no control. Like I say no control, like I probably could have stopped it, but these things my body was doing, it wanted to do them naturally. So I let it go. I let go and just let my body move in the way it wanted to shake in the way that it wanted to shake and tense up the way that it wanted to. So I actually like started feeling so much energy just ramping up in my body. So I started like circling around like this. I actually started to feel the urge to like speak. I just needed to speak sound, like sounds and tones just needed to come out of my mouth. It made no freaking sense at all. It was like light language coming out. And then I started shaking bad, like convulsing, not like seizure convulsing, but I was just like this. And it would last for a couple minutes and it would stop. And then it would pick back up again and then it would stop. This is when I questioned like, I don't know if I can do this for 20 minutes because you have to leave the medicine on between 20 and 40 minutes to receive the full dose and the benefits of it. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this 
because this was in the beginning stages of just putting it on. The room shifted and I had been in this place before when I have done deep, 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 deep intensive energy work and I was like, oh no. I'm like, I'm like on the verge of having a Kundalini awakening. Like I was waiting for Kundalini to shoot up. I'm like, this cannot happen right now. And I started to see different colors in the room. I started to see the energy in the room, which is pretty normal for me. Started seeing all these orbs going everywhere. And I'm like, okay, I'm seeing angels right now. I'm like, holy shit. Like I, my consciousness just expanded and I'm in the higher realms right now. My ego was also dying in this moment as well. So my consciousness expanded. I went up into the higher realms, but to try and explain this guys, everything's happening right here, right now. It's not like I went anywhere or left my body. You, your reality shifts to these things. Ultimately, you are a universe in the body and you are multidimensional, so you can go to these places at any time, but you just have to expand your consciousness to get there. When you do energy work or things like this and you have experiences that basically take you to that next level that you're not used to, you you can, you're like stuck there almost. Like you will go back to that experience. Like it's literally within your body and it changes your blood and your cells and everything. Like you literally cannot, you're basically connected to this dimension forever. I went to this dimension, right? And I started seeing angels. I started like see, hearing like the, the voices and the symbolism coming through. I started seeing the energy just pulsing in the room. You could just see it. I'm waking up to what reality actually is, but I'm leaving my human self. My ego is dying. The way that this works is it goes in waves. So I was on this really, really high wave the first time and then it kind of dropped me and then my body was fighting it and it was. I was like, okay, like maybe I can do this. And so I had hit such this high and I pushed through it guys I pushed through it I didn't take the medicine off I was this close to asking but I kept it on and I'm glad I did because I pushed through that and that just gave me that much more confidence to do something that difficult that was very humbling to be in that much pain and suffering for an intention for a spiritual experience it's a lot of energy that and intention you're putting towards something to get something out of it. So I got a lot of confidence from that and I'm like, wow, if I can do something that difficult, physically pushing myself through those limitations, just like how you would probably in working out or something like that, pushing through pain. But this was like on a whole nother freaking level. And then it would just kind of go in waves, but nothing compared to the first one. So the rest of it, it was not easy. It wasn't as intense. I had really deep knowings. I came into contact with my intuition. I felt like energy moving in my body, just clearing. I could feel it leaving my body. It was so cool, this experience on a, like a very deep spiritual level to actually feel these things, to have these knowings, to come into contact with the intuition, like source, like directly again to find God in that situation was very humbling. I developed such a trust in my body to do these difficult things, to actually push through and actually like save me pretty much. Like I didn't have to do any kind of thinking to help it. It just did what it was supposed to do to keep me alive. So it was a lot of different thoughts and feelings and emotions coming up and I was crying when I, I had no idea why I was crying, but there was so much purging going on, not just like, and I wasn't really throwing up. So that was one thing that I'm just like, okay, am I supposed to be puking? Like I had wanted the urge to puke. I thought I was gonna be projectile vomiting, but I wasn't. Like that was actually the struggle was to throw up because you do have to purge in that way before you can take the medicine off. But like my body was physically purging. Emotions were coming up and I was purging them. I was asking questions in my head while all this was going on and I was getting answers. And then finally, finally to help actually get me to purge and throw up because I was at the 40 minute mark, which is the most that you can actually like receive the medicine or the benefits from the full dosage of the medicine. So I had several options. Uh, she could put more on and I was just like, I don't know if I can handle more. Like I, I didn't, I did not feel comfortable doing more. So I didn't. Um, so what we ended up doing, she had um, this, I forgot what it was called. If I find it, um, I'll pop it on here. 
but essentially it was like this Indian like um, ash and it was like a holy sacred ash and what you do is like you basically like smell it but it helps you throw up <laughs> so I did that and essentially that's what kind of did the trick for me um, I, we all had like buckets in front of us we all had towels and stuff like that but so I had was throwing up from this and I was just like finally like I felt such a release so much mucus was coming up and I'm like wow like even afterwards there was so much like drainage that mucus just released itself from my body that I was in shock at, like my body was detoxing finally I had purged and we wiped the medicine off and she let you relax afterwards and the feeling you get after it's all over was insane. I felt so crystal clear. Physically, I felt like my body had regenerated itself almost. I felt very clean and clear. Like I had done like a seven day fast or something, like a water fast. I was, and I was really, I was in a good mood. The sickness, like it, it like went away. It, as soon as she wiped it off, like immediately I was getting better. If you guys are worried that like, you're gonna be sick the rest of the day, not really. I just felt like not normal. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. I was like in another dimension. I didn't feel like I was kind of spacey, but I was having knowings and I could see the energy so well in the room. Like I could look at the person, like one of the girls across from me and I saw like clearly the color of her aura. Started getting just like downloads of information and things being shown to me in a different light. And I think this is where a lot of the healing takes place too, is not just during, but the after effect. The really like being in touch with yourself, actually analyzing the things that came up, like what just happened, um, the blocks that are removed, like you have to do the inner work with these things, get the full benefit out of it. So it was really sitting with ourselves and sitting with spirit and experiencing spirit um, from this experience. <laughs> so uh, it was it was intense. I'm not gonna lie guys, like this was the most intense inner energy work type thing, purge, detox that I have ever, ever done. And it's hard to say like, if I'll ever do it again, I think I will because of how good that I feel right now. Now afterwards, I drink like a bunch of water, put food in my body to help nourish it. Um, I noticed that my hunger increased quite a bit and she said that uh, some of us, you know, we could experience intense hunger which I did, so um, I ate, I came home, and I literally, like, I've slept. I, if you know me, like, it's hard for me to take a nap during the day because I am just go, 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 go. And the fact that I slowed down and actually took a nap speaks for itself. So I just got home not th that long ago. <laughs> um, made some coffee, because I haven't had anything to drink today, we fasted. So I made some coffee, um, drank some coconut water, had like a granola bar, and I am just beat. My physical body feels wiped out. Like I, I feel like I need to nap, and I never, ever, this is killing me, taking a nap right now. Absolutely killing me. But I think I really need it. So that's what I'm gonna do set my timer, my phone, and just take a nap and conquer the day after that. Because I'm like, my physical body needed to recover from what I had just put it through. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna take, you know, two hour nap and then get up and go. And as soon as, you know, I got up, I was like, I think I'm hungry again. So I started eating again and I'm like, I could do a workout right now. Started working out, energy flow, energy flow. Like the thoughts and the energy was just flowing. It felt so good. I probably could have made better food choices, but at this point, like I know my body is craving very high calorie foods right now because of everything it just went through. Um, so I tried to choose nutrient foods, but also I had some chocolate. But I had a really good experience. I recommend it. Um, just make sure that you have the right practitioner, that you have the right intentions, that you're healthy enough to do these things. Otherwise, like um, it's just it's not worth it, and you won't get the 
fullest experience out of it that you possibly could. Like when you do things like this and you're gonna sacrifice so much, you wanna get the full experience. So I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I just really wanted to document this journey. If you stuck around for this long, I really appreciate it. And I'm sending you guys all of my light and all of my love. We'll see ya.